today's live video. This is um, my Lita challenge and this is live every day in August and this is August 3rd. This is the third live. I did two yesterday. Um, I did one on August 1st also and it got accidentally deleted. <laughs> so but this is actually day three. Um, I have a lot of my forks set up here, but I'm going to wait just a little bit. So today is um, going to be a chakra balancing and um, possibly some organs. I have different organ forks here. I have liver, blood for circulation spleen, kidneys, hi, yay, we have two people. <laughs> I was just kind of waiting to see um, who was going to show up. And um, yeah, I wanted to wait to get a couple people here before we start. So I, I was just chit chatting. <laughs> so and I actually went to its live streaming pros and I got on their Facebook group and um, she actually gives missions for the Lita challenge. Um, but I've kind of been making up my own things. <laughs> yes, it does. You mean the tuning forks? Yes, for people, animals, everybody. <laughs> They are, um, I would say, the way I would describe them is um, it's subtle. You'll note, like whenever I use them for myself and even my clients, um, it's kind of a subtle, you'll notice like a subtle shift in, in your energy. Um, I have one client that really likes the, the balancing of the chakras, so we go through the, the chakra set and then whatever else feels right, but she always feels more centered and um, balanced and feels better. And me, it's like, I notice it, um, it kind of makes me want to eat better and drink more water and shoot, I forgot my water. Oh wait, no, I think I have it. So yes, I have a little bit. Um, yeah, after this, you want to drink a lot of water just because it can it can detox you a little bit and the water just helps to flush everything out. So water is good. If you have a pacemaker, you might not want to do this. You might not want to sit and listen because the frequencies can mess up the pacemaker. If you have cancer, to, um, it does cause a little bit of a detox, so it might be too much for your body to handle because it does detox and your body might not be able to process it. So um, I wanted to say that first. And um, yeah, so I wanna wait a few more minutes. Um, just because, well, we can start with this one actually. So this is this is um, 174 hertz, and this one um, will really help to get you grounded. It's also um, um, kind of like an anesthesia. So if you have any aches and pains in your body, this can kind of help to alleviate that and make you feel better. It's also really good to take, um, clear your, your energy field on the outside of yourself. So I'm just gonna start and I don't know if you can hear that. Do I need to sit closer? I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer, a little bit closer.
I'm doing it towards me now because I don't know if doing it in front of the mic makes it sound better. Yeah, it is, huh? I always feel really good when I get done. It just feels calming and peaceful. I always feel really centered and balanced. I've used this one a couple times on a couple different horses when they had a mild colic and it actually made them feel um, better. One was my horse this last weekend. Thank you for the thumbs up. Oh yay, you made it, hi. <laughs> So we're, um, we're starting with 174 hertz. This is um, very um, grounding. It's also like an anesthesia. So if you have any aches and pains, it helps with that. It's also for your, um, like the chakra below your feet. I can't, and I can't remember, I think that's your earth star chakra. So I'm gonna kind of do a combination between facing it towards me because the mic is right here and facing it towards you guys too. This is also a good one because the Hertz is lower. It's a good one to kind of clear things out of your energy field. Energy field. <laughs> I know it feels good, huh? So I kind of just go by like what feels right. It's different every time. <laughs> Did you guys feel that? <laughs> crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> Feel free to just enjoy it or feel free to like give feedback and tell me what you're feeling if you want. Tell me which ones you like better. <laughs> I know you can, yeah, hold them up or hold them towards yourself. My whole body like um, whenever I do this for one of my clients or for myself, but even like my clients. So I know after this, doing it for you guys here, I'm, I, my whole body buzzes for a while. I just feel like I'm like vibrating.
Let me know if you have any questions too. Okay, good. Yeah, just relax. Feel free to just lay down or sit down and relax. <laughs> Chance, he's over there. He's in the pasture. He's playing with something. <laughs> This one, did this one change? This is a different one now. We went to 528 hertz. This is the love frequency, the miracle, miracle frequency. So this is a higher frequency than the last one. This is more fine tuning, getting like finer things out of your energy field. This is the lung tuning fork. Good. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. 
Yeah, again, this is the lungs. I always find it amazing, like, the frequency and, like, where you feel it in different places in the body. That's, like, so neat. Okay, we're going to move to the root chakra, first ch chakra. Root chakra is red, and if you want to picture that, it's at the base of your spine. It's a nice bright red color. Oh, cool. I didn't see who said that. Who said that? Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did that one make anybody take a deep breath? I know I always find that like really cool. I find that with my horses sometimes and, and with my clients. But sometimes like when I want to take a deep breath, it's like they're doing a lick and chew. So it's like a release. It's just a release and it's like a letting go. A clearing or a resetting, however you want to look at it. I don't know how long you're hearing the sound, but like right now, it's still vibrating in my hand. Are you guys ready for the second chakra?
This was the first one. Second chakra, orange. It's your lo lower abs right here. So you want to picture a bright orange color. <laughs> this one is waking you up. <laughs> Which one was making you tingly? The last one, the root chakra. Yeah. <laughs> we can go back to that one at the end if you want to. <laughs> Is that Susan? I can't, I can't tell. Wait, let me see. Wait, uh, ah, yes, yeah, Susan. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I know it's, it's neat how that does that. And this one, um, waking you up, I kind of consider that one kind of like your battery. Hi, how are you? Like your battery and working out. It's like your your lower abs, um, it's your, your, um, yeah, power, I guess. Um, oh, good. And it's actually your relationship center and what we talked about the other day. It's, um, what I consider like, you know, when you connect, when you connect with somebody or something you connect with the weights or you connect with your horse or another person I think it's when two things come together the duality they come together and meet <laughs> I use tuning forks <laughs> Yeah. Is that what you're feeling? It's like your pleasure center too, the second chakra. So we're gonna move up to the third chakra. Third chakra is right here, solar plex. So it's yellow. So you want to picture a bright, pretty yellow. Thank you. And um, this is your power center, your personal power, um, boundaries, self-esteem center.
I'm going to try something. I'm going to add this one too. This is actually a third chakra in another set. Oh, good. Strongest in like, it really resonates with you or that it, do you feel like it like cleared something like it opened it? Yeah, I felt that. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I put this one down. This one just sounded like it was better to like, because it felt, something felt stuck. And this tone sounded a little bit better to do that. You like the little one? I'll go back to that in just a minute. Oh, hi. How are you? Thank you for saying hi and stopping by. I'm gonna go back to the the short one. This one doesn't sound like it has a very good tone to me. Can you guys even hear it? So I'm going to add back in the one that you like, Susan. Now I know who it is. Now I see. Okay. <laughs> I only saw the spiritual awakening or something like that. Now I know. Hi. <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> So this is still third chakra.
This is the last chakra of the three below, which are your physical chakras. We're still gonna keep this one here for a little bit longer. This is the, this is um, from the Selfagio set, but this is related to the third chakra. This is 528 Hertz and um, the love frequency or miracle frequency related to the chakras so though it's the third third chakra okay we're going to move up to the heart chakra right here and the color is green the heart chakra is the center of the three above and three below You guys feel it opening? Clearing. You like that? I do too. It feels very good. <laughs> I feel like my breath is like flowing better now. Like it's more open. This is for self-love, love of others, um, forgiveness. So forgiving somebody else or forgiving yourself or something. We hold that sometimes in our hearts. It closes us down. What do you guys think? One more?
Okay, we're going to move up to um, throat, and throat center. It's blue. It's like a sky, sky blue. This is speaking your truth, self-expression. Not being afraid to speak your truth, communication. So this is the first chakra of the three higher chakras. Does this feel different to you guys? stronger yeah kind of feels lighter to me um higher does it feel lighter and higher <laughs> okay we're gonna move to the sixth chakra the third eye right here this is like your mind's eye your intuition yeah higher it feels less physical so the three below are your physical chakras. The heart connects the three above and the three below and the three above are more mental. This is kind of the center where you visualize your dreams and goals. Can you feel me wiping it clean? <laughs> Clearing the, the window in your vision center. So 
so you can see your goals and dreams more clear. <laughs> You like that one? Oh, hi. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Can you guys still hear it pretty good with the wind? It's starting to get a little breezy. We're almost done. Okay, good. We're moving up to the crown. This is like the top of your head. I kind of picture it doing this, <clears throat> but it's purple. That's right up here. For me, that's the center of, of like your connection to God. And um, for me, I feel it open up and let that energy just like run down. The big one. Yeah, the little one is, I like the bigger tone. This one, the bigger one's tone better.
This is the kidney fork. This is the liver fork.
Are you guys still with me? Do you feel like, oh. <laughs> Did you like the last two? These, is this the ones you're talking about, Susan? Um, where's my brush? I know I almost felt like I was going to fall asleep. <laughs> it felt so... <sighs> yeah, this is um, 432 hertz and 528 hertz. They work, work really nice together. Yeah, I think that was a good way to end. Do you guys feel like that was good? Was that enough? <laughs> I feel like I'm like buzzing like vibrating. Huh. <laughs> yeah, good. So if you want to, don't feel like you have to, if you want to just enjoy the feeling, we can be done. But if anybody wants to say how they feel or what they liked, or if you just want to not think about it, or speak about it. We can just go ahead and end. Oh, good. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you were here. I feel kind of like, ah. <laughs> blissful. I feel blissful, I think, or um, euphoric. <laughs> Do you guys feel aligned? Like everything's like opened up and cleared. Like everything's flowing. I feel like, ah, everything's just like, my energy is moving and free. Oh good, so something cleared then. Yeah, it's amazing how that, how that works. They're powerful. I mean, it, you know, it kind of felt funny at first because when I do it on my clients, they know me. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Really good. Um, yeah, when we hold on stuff here, it kind of, the way I pictured it, it kind of um, separates us, kind of cuts us in half. Um, makes it hard to breathe really deep but whew, when that's open when all of your energy centers are open and everything's flowing your breath flows so much better i think it changes your workouts too it changes the way you are with your horses yeah it disconnects yeah so um yeah so that's good if there was a a clearing and a um maybe a forgiving of somebody or yourself or yeah you have to can't hold that stuff in it has to have to clear that out but it's funny it's it's powerful when i do it for my clients they they know a little bit about it you know i mean they they already know i'm weird <laughs> you're welcome <clears throat> They know me, they know I'm weird. <laughs> so they love this kind of stuff and I have fun with it. So this is the first time me doing it like live, like I would like with one of my clients. And it kind of felt funny at first because, you know, if you don't really know anything about it, it's like, what are those really doing? But, <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, but they're powerful. Um, uh, it's funny, um, this one, and I think you like this one, Susan, the 528 Hertz. Um, this one. So when my horse was, um, he had like a mild case of colic Saturday. And, um, yeah, I know this is a nice one. This is like a, 
one of the most um, common ones, I think, or popular ones, or well-known. It's a well-known 528 hertz. It's called the Miracle Tone or, or like Love Frequency. Um, it's in the Selfagio, Selfagio set, and it's related to the third chakra, but I had used, um, I forget how I used him on him, but he was moseying around in the pasture. So I was just sounding the forks and, you know, the colic is like the gut. And I took this one, I'm like, I'm gonna do this one, third chakra, kind of picture it like the gut area. And my um, intention was I wanted him to poop. You know, I wanted, I wanted to see that for myself. And when I took this one, I was intending that and like cleaning everything out. And within like 30 seconds or so, he pooped. He started to raise his tail. I'm like, oh my gosh, is he gonna poop? <laughs> and if you know anything about colic, you know how exciting that is <laughs> when they poop. And I was just like, wow. And um, actually it was this one too. The other day I was working on my client. She was laying down and I could see her because so we were doing a, I know it's like, you know, if you believe and it's, it's you know, the frequency plus your intention, you know, if your intention is strong and your focus is strong and then the frequency and, you know, sending the energy and the frequency, that's why it will work long distance. And, um, you know, I usually do um, either Skype or Facebook Messenger with my clients so I can see them too. So I can't see you guys, you can see me, but, um, my client was laying down and I, that's the first time we did it with her lying down and she was just, you know, relaxed. And I did some of the organ forks and then went through the chakras and I could, you know, actually move the fork, you know, at the certain particular chakras. And it was like amazing. She had her eyes closed. She wasn't even watching me. She was just enjoying it. And when I got to her third chakra, I was using this one. I felt like I needed to like really clear it. And me doing that, it's like, <laughs> she would like flinch and twitch. And she didn't even know what I was doing, but she could feel the energy of that. And it was like, it was funny you know, me seeing things and feeling things and then in the end asking her once she sat up and everything, the one that she felt the most powerful <laughs> was this one. Her, and she said right here. And I just thought that was like so wild because <laughs> that's, the, that's the one I probably worked on the most and it felt like I needed to. And she felt like, she says, I, ha I was having like gut issues and I feel like it like cleared it. I'm like, wow. <laughs> so it's like, it doesn't seem like, you know, it does anything, but they are powerful. So a reminder too, you can have a detox effect too. So drink lots of water. I know, isn't it? <laughs> energy and frequency, sound, sound travels, you know, energy travels. And um, yeah, they're powerful. And like right now, I, I just feel really good. I feel like I'm buzzy, buzzing. My energy is just flowing. And it's like, I, I'm like craving water. So you might find that you do wanna drink water. And if you're not really thinking about it, get it and drink it anyway because <laughs> it'll help to flush everything out and clear everything physically yeah i know i feel really relaxed i feel really good <laughs> so yeah it's amazing and sometimes you know you don't you don't even know like like the chakras i think are real you know some people um will freak out sometimes because of the chakras, like if you're Christian and stuff, but it's like they're energy centers. They're real. <laughs> um, you know, just, I think, you know, like animals, when you use things like these on animals, it's like, 
um, they tell you, they show you, and you can feel it too if you're sensitive to the energy. It's they're 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 real, and sometimes you don't like really realize that you might be out of balance, like um, you know, have a an energy center closed or too open or you know like you're you're out of sync until you like have something like this done and you're like wow now I do feel really good and then you can tell you can compare yourself to before and then after and like wow <laughs> you know it's kind of like I was telling one of my clients I think yesterday with the foam roller and um, she got one for her her home and um, I, I, and we used to do at the gym, I don't think we ever used one at the gym, so her and I had never used it before and I was talking about the foam roller. She's like, what's that? So I sent her the one that I have that I got and she got one. So yesterday at the end of our session, she says, show me how to roll out on it. So I explained to her and everything and she was like, oh my gosh, this feels so good. I said, it's almost like the foam roller. You don't really know how tense and tight your body is until you start rolling it out. And you're like, you get like such relief and it's like, ah, oh, <laughs> that's kind of how tuning forks are. <laughs> you know, it's like, you don't really know that you're not like quite up to par energy wise. And um, yeah, until you do it and feel it and sense it for yourself. So, does anybody have any questions? Are you guys drinking your water? I hope I didn't just smear my lipstick. Did I smear my lips lipstick? <laughs> yeah, and actually right now, if you haven't drank any water, drink. It'll kind of help to bring you back to reality. <laughs> Ooh, tea sounds really good. That's what I'm going to have when I go inside. That sounds really good. Yeah, drink some water. Um, yeah, if you feel if you feel too buzzy, you might need to drink some water or maybe even eat something like a piece of protein. A piece of protein would be good too. So anyway, does anybody have any questions or comments about the tuning forks or what they felt or anybody, anybody? <laughs> Okay, well, um, so tomorrow is going to be, um, it depends, um, maybe once a week or so. Some like to go a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, once, once a week, sometimes longer. I think it just depends on the person because, um, you know, and kind of same for me, you know, sometimes it's a couple times a week, sometimes it's, you know, longer. Because um, I think I'll be curious to see how everybody feels too, because I think it does create like subtle shifts in your energy field and in your body and in your mental, emotional, like since, since you got a clearing for your fourth chakra, you know, it's gonna change things. So, you know, sometimes, um, sometimes, you know, you might take a little bit longer, somebody might take a little longer to process something. So um, one of my clients, sometimes she likes to go a little longer because it's, um, okay, good. Um, yeah, I think it's just an individual thing. Um, yeah, I like to try to do 
maybe maybe once a week or so. Um, it just it I don't know. I think the the energy of them because um, you know they get you back to um, like like the organ forks, you know, this is the long one. And um, I can't remember if you said you liked this one too. Somebody, I think, liked this one, this tone. But um, it has a nice tone to it. I kind of have, um, I put the color of the balls on the organ forks. Like I have them matching the chakras on these down here, but the organ forks, I kind of put the balls that match kind of like, I think the chakra that like the kidney, I think is like kind of related to the second chakra, the lungs to the fourth chakra. But the, all these are the organ ones. They're toned, um, they're um, tuned to a healthy frequency of whatever organ they are. So this is liver, kidney, lungs. Um, they're tuned to a healthy set of lungs, a healthy set of kidneys, and a healthy liver. Um, so your body, your body um, hears the healthy frequency and feels that it's out of sync, so it will say, so say this is the lungs, so say your lungs, um, they're unhealthy, they will start to sync with the healthy frequency. And over time, it helps to um, heal whatever organ. So in this case, it would be like the lungs. So your, your lungs will entrain and start to resonate with the healthy frequency and it starts to heal the lungs, you know, and it's doesn't happen overnight. It could I mean miracles happen, but, um, yeah. So, um, you know, I kind of feel that with whichever ones I use, it's like, it almost makes me, um, because I feel better. It, it, makes me want like good things for my body. Like it may, you know, I automatically kind of feel like I want more water and I want to eat clean. It's like when I feel like this, it's like I don't, I don't, you know, want to put bad stuff in my body. So I notice it's been easier for me to kind of, I was having a really bad habit of diet soda. I'm drinking three or four a day. And now I'm like, down to one, maybe a fat, sometimes a half of one, and sometimes none. And I think it, you know, the frequencies kind of shift your energy. And um, I think kind of like um, elevate your vibration, you know, the vibration in your, in your body. Like you have your lower vibrations of um, like emotions like fear, shame, guilt, those really resonate at a, a lower vibration and it makes you feel like blah. But when you get done with something like this, it like really elevates you up into like the, um, the neutral point. So say these are the lower vibrations and you have a neutral point and then you start to go into like love frequency and like all the, um, good emotions, the higher vibrations up here love, trust, you know, I forget what they are. There's a book that has like a, a graph of that. And I think it's called, um, power versus force. And, um, yeah, that's a pretty interesting graph, but, um, there's a guy and what is his name? The guy that, um, um, I think, um, what did he do? He did something with water and showed how, um, like love, love and like hate, like hate words and, and how it formed 
water in a certain way or something like that. I'll have to look that up. I've heard about that before, like a few times, and it's it's interesting. I mean, it goes to show like the power of your words if you're like speaking love or if you're speaking hate. And it's you know that's frequency, right? Your 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 voice frequency. You know what what you speak, and even I think like your thoughts, like your own self-talk to yourself has a frequency you know and if you have a negative self-talk in your head that's gonna I believe it affects your body and how you feel you know that's why it's it's not good to like even if you're just saying it to yourself um, you know like I'm stupid or you know wh whatever some negative self-talk is it's just it's not not good or you know I'm ugly or I'm fat you know if you're the type of person that says that you're fat and you're trying to lose weight you're kind of fighting against yourself you can't sit there and say you're fat and and try to create a lean body or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve you can't say one thing when you're trying to do another you're defeating the purpose you're self-sabotaging yourself so it's like it's good to like you know get into saying good things about yourself and believing in yourself and um, you know loving yourself you know I think over this last year it's like um, you know not being out and about like we used to be a couple years ago you know it's like you start to look at different things and, um, you know, learn to love things about yourself, you, you know, get to know yourself. I've gotten to know myself even more, I think, this last year. And, um, you know, you, you have to love yourself, I think, in order to, like, really be able to love somebody else fully anyway. And you have to love yourself because um, when you love yourself, you can love others better. And, it, you know, it just, it raises your vibration. Makes you feel good and, um, yeah, changes, just changes your energy. Yes, it does. You have to love yourself. You know, and that's not a selfish thing. That's, that's something that I think you have to do and you have to take care of yourself. You know, and that's, that's one thing. It's like, I'm active because of the horses and everything, but it's like, I haven't been doing weights probably since last year. It's been <laughs> since last June, I think, <clears throat> when I had to put my, my one little doggy down. And then I had to put another one down in December and it's like I just got off track with everything. And yeah, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm back, but I got into my tuning forks more and, um, and you know, different, different aspects of, of yourself. You know, it's not always just about the physical, but then, you know, you um, all thank you. Yeah, because I was doing good on my Clip to Fit channel starting to work out again and yeah so that's hard they just they just don't live long enough sometimes it's hard um but um yeah i feel like i'm just i'm just like la 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 <laughs> i'm just rambling <laughs> you can stop me at any time <laughs> um so anyway i think what i was gonna say was um so tomorrow will be workout Wednesday. Today was tuning fork Tuesday. Tomorrow will be workout Wednesday. It's going to be shoulders and arms. So um, those are muscles that we use to kind of lift our saddles and put our saddles on our horses. Um, also things that look good like in the show ring. <laughs> um, they give you a nice shoulders. Shoulders give you a nice taper if you have nice shoulders kind of gives you that illusion of a nice e taper. So 
Yeah, arm strength is good for just a lot of things, not just, you know, horses, but yeah, just everyday life. Got to have strong arms. Um, and then I was thinking um, possibly like a thought provoking Thursday. <laughs> I've been thinking about one of my clients that died in 2018, I think it was, or two, gosh, it might've been, no, I think it was 2017 now. Um, he was one of my favorite clients. We would meet, in the end we would meet, he was um, a quadriplegic. Um, in the beginning, it, I met him right after his accident that caused that and we would train like probably three times a week. Then he became, um, he used to be a lawyer then, um, then after his accident, he didn't really do much of that. Then he became a judge. And then, um, and then we were training like once a week, sometimes twice a week, but, um, he used to be a black belt in karate. And so, you know, he was fun to talk to like about this kind of stuff you know, energy, and I could say, what did you just feel on that set? Did you feel a difference between that set and the first set? And he'd said, yeah, I felt this and this. So we got to talk about that kind of stuff, you know, and that's just like self-awareness. It's awareness of your body, awareness of the energy and awareness of what you're feeling. So we got into that kind of stuff during our workouts. So it, you know, was more than j just the physical, which he needed the physical, the physical stuff really helped him. But we also got into like the mind and the, the energy and spiritual. And um, one of our things would be, especially on Saturday mornings, he loved to come to the gym, gym on Saturday mornings. He would, um, we would start training and then either he would ask me first or if he didn't, then I would ask him. But a lot of times he would ask me, so what did you learn this week? And I'm like, huh. Let me think about that for a second. And then I could always like, you know, name something that I learned um, or that, you know, was brought to my awareness or something. And it would just start a conversation, you know, and then he would tell me what he learned for the week. And it was always like very interesting just to hear what we each learned. And a lot of times they would kind of run parallel, even though we had like different lives. It's like, we kind of learned similar things. It was kind of interesting to see that. And yeah, I miss that. And so I was thinking it's like maybe that, you know, since we're going live every day in August, I'm like trying to think of these topics. And I was like, maybe that can be Thursday's thing. It's like, so you guys be thinking about what you're going to talk about and what you learn for, the, <laughs> for this week. I'm going to have to think about it too. It's like, what, what, what have I learned? But it's kind of something that like makes you kind of think, you know, it's like, huh, that's pretty interesting. And it just makes you more self-aware of, um, you know, your life and, and, you know, makes you more present, I think. Um, and then I was thinking Friday, like a flashback Friday for, um, maybe just flash back on some, I don't know, some older pictures or um, something. I don't know. I haven't really decided on that one yet, but we can decide as we go. So anyway, so tomorrow will be shoulders and arms. Okay, good. Um, so make sure you have... Um, Make sure you have some dumbbells. We'll need some dumbbells and um, possibly to, no, let's just stick to dumbbells. That'll be easy. So um, yeah, dumbbells. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. Dumbbells for tomorrow for shoulders and arms. And um, yeah, I was looking at the Lita thing. So actually in the Facebook group, um, she sends an email the night before and then you're supposed to do a live video in the group. I thought it was like on YouTube. I wasn't sure exactly how it worked, but I know some people do post on, on YouTube. Um, I've just been making my own things up. But yeah, she gives you like, um, like little topics to talk about. 
live on camera. So the goal is um, to, I guess, make it so you feel more comfortable on lives and just being on camera and stuff. So um, I might start to talk about some of those. That, that could maybe be a, um, a Friday thing or something like that. I can like get all of her questions from all of them, but I didn't, I didn't pay attention to the first two because I kind of missed those because I just got mine last night. And for day three, it was supposed to be to talk about how you see yourself and um, how you see yourself physically and um, and about being a mirror. Like, like when you look in the mirror, what do you see physically about yourself? And then to try to be a mirror for others. And it's always all good, you know, when you're being a mirror for somebody else. But um, yeah, I thought that was interesting. For me, I see my wrinkles. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I haven't really thought about like how I see myself. I think sometimes I think I'm like goofy <laughs> and, um, um, weird, quirky, quirky might be a good word. Quirky, different. <laughs> you see all your wrinkles as well. Yeah. Her point was, you know, what you see in yourself, other people don't see you the same way. They see you in a different light. And it's usually not what you think that they see. And my gray hair. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I haven't been to the hairdresser in way over a year. <laughs> a year way over a year and a half. <laughs> I was looking and when I was doing my hair, I was like, it looks like I almost got my hair done. I'm getting like so many more grays that it almost looks blonde. <laughs> But I kind of like it in a way. I mean, if, if there were more grays where it looked grayer, I would like it. But when you have just a few here and there, it doesn't look very good. But I'm starting to get more. <laughs> um, but her point to the challenge was, you know, to make a video talking about those things. And then everybody in the gr group is like really supportive. And th then they tell you what they see in you, you know, and because... Um, yeah, like I like platinum. <laughs> um, yeah, they they tell you what like her one of her things is. Um, she says I feel like I have a big nose, like a cartoon nose, and you know I wouldn't even even picked that on her. I just think she's she has like a good personality and she's like bubbly and fun, and you know she says that's what people tell her. She says, you know, they don't see the flaws that you think that people see or that you see in yourself. People don't see those a lot of the times. So everybody in the group is supposed to point out like the things that they see, you know, and the, the reason for that is so that you're aware of like maybe some things that you don't know, she says, and you don't have to believe it. But um, sometimes people see things in you that are your strengths that you're not really aware of so I thought that was like pretty interesting so I'm debating if I want to do that in the live group or if I just want to watch everybody else <laughs> then they have a, a Lita which is for April so it's the the months with the A so Lita is live every day in April and then live every day in August so I made it my challenge to be on here live every day with whatever topics come up just to kind of like learn to like go with the flow and to talk and like just be on camera and not be so nervous like I was kind of nervous in the beginning of this one just because it's kind of something that's like um different that you than you might see like on a horse channel um or even like my other cliff to fit channel you know some people think this is just like woo woo stuff or weird you know and it's like Sometimes you don't know how people are going to take it. So the beginning of this, I was kind of like, I don't know. I kind of feel nervous doing this in front of the camera, waving the stuff. <laughs> but I was trying to stay here and like just, you know, feel and listen to my intuition. And then I kind of got into the flow of it. So this is good practice, I think. So the live every day in August. Um, so, yeah, if you guys can think of any topics, too. Um, yeah, let me know and, you know, and, and 
I don't want to do all workouts because, you know, it's like I want to do some horse stuff too. So if there's anything you want to see with the horses, any groundwork or anything like, like that that you want to see too. But I think the workouts are part of it. The tuning forks are part of it because I think the more you can take care of yourself and like get in touch with you and your body and your energy, that helps you with your horse and it helps you to, um, you know, know what you're actually sending to your horse. Because sometimes we're sending one thing or we think we're sending one thing and we're really sending something else. A lot of it has to do with your mind and your energy. And I was thinking about that today too with, um, yeah, when, when you, um, when you work with a horse, it's like anybody can get on there and make a horse do something physically, you know? And it's like, it, to me, it's, it's not really about that. You know, it's about getting their mind to and it's kind of the same working with people. You know, I was thinking about that today after a couple of my clients and it's like, it's, it's not just about the physical. Anybody can get in the gym and like move a weight, but it's like, it's about um, where's your mind? How is your mind focused? How strong is your focus? Um, are you in the present? You know, because then when you connect the mind and the body together, so you have the, the mental and the physical, and then you get your breath going, that's where all the magic happens. And I was thinking about that with the horses too. It's kind of the same with the horses too. So anyway, I'm kind of starting to get distracted because my dog, one of my doggies is out front barking at somebody. So <laughs> I probably better get out there and, um, yeah, there's probably somebody across the street or walking by or something. So anyway, we're at one hour and 33 minutes and um, okay, good. Yeah, it's probably getting close to bedtime, huh? For you. Okay, well, um, you guys let me know that it'll take a while for this to process. So, but I think, I think as long as you like got a notification like if you're a subscriber and you got a no notification, um, you should be able to go back and watch it. But if you want to comment too. Oh, good. Thank you. I'm glad you showed up. Glad you liked it. And thank you for everybody that showed up. Um, I will see you tomorrow and it'll probably be somewhere between 2.30 and 4.30 or so Pacific Standard Time when I'll actually get on and start somewhere around there, just depends on my schedule. I have a client tomorrow that I usually have to stay open cause I don't know if she's gonna train in the morning or in the evening, or I should say later afternoon. So um, I will let you know, I'll post it on the community tab again, just to kind of give you a heads up of like what time I'm gonna start. So anyway, you guys have a good night and um, if you think of anything you want to see just after this process is comment um, underneath the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good night.